Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I am talking about gemstones. I know, odd, right? I'm talking about gemstones because the Lord showed me in the spiritual realm that man puts way too much focus on the diamond. The diamond is, yes, one of the most valuable gems, but not everybody can afford that crystal clear, flawless diamond. And so they are in bondage trying to get someone a diamond. Okay. They're in bondage trying to buy diamond jewelry. And so the Lord says, I have made other stones, natural gems that are affordable. And I have made the types of things that man as well as woman can see in museums that are, uh, based on a uh, healing that are used uh, uh, for all sorts of uh, um, designs and um, are very captivating, okay? So there's so much stuff that's out here, and we limit ourselves when we're focused on what uh, man wants us to focus on because man has vested interest somewhere, as I've said in other audio, dealing with natural resources and gold and diamonds, diamonds and so forth. When he has vested interest somewhere, he wants everybody to jump on board. Meanwhile, God is saying that we are not um, going to be put in a box. Okay. We're not going to be put in a box. So when it comes to shopping, even for gems, we're not going to be put in a box either. There are so many different gemstones. Let me just throw out some names for you all to check out. And if there is jewelry that has these uh, gems in it and you can afford it, why not get that item for, uh, you know, one's partner? And if he or she is not appreciative of it, then, well, you know where you stand with that person. Sometimes you got to test some folks by not necessarily always getting what it is that they uh, want. Sometimes you have to sit down and talk to them in advance and tell them, here's my budget. And this is what I can afford and this is what I can't. So there are some beautiful things that are out here. Uh, there is the... Uh, um, Alexandrite, the mel uh, melanite, the uh, almadine garnet, there is the moonstone, there's amber, there's the amethyst, the mystic quartz, uh, the amylite, the mystic topaz, there is uh, the appetite, uh, and not talking about your stomach either, uh, onyx, the aqu aquamarine, the opal, uh, then there's a uh, peanut wood and barrel. There's bloodstone and peridot. There's calcite. Uh, there's the quartz. Uh, there's also uh, the cherite, uh, rose quartz. There's so many different ones. There's the ruby and there's the sapphire. There's the coral. There's the sodalite, the smoky quartz, the snowflake, uh, obsidian. There's the fire agate, the spinel. Okay, so I'm giving you some examples of all these different gems that don't really get the kind of attention that the diamond does. Okay, or gold or silver. But they're just as beautiful, beautiful if not more. Okay, there's the strawberry quartz. There's different types of quartz. There's the tiger's eye, um, the topaz, jasper, turquoise, uh, verdite. Uh, the Larimar, Zircon, okay, Kyanite. And some of these stones, if you do research on them, uh, they have been used for all sorts of things, okay? So you get yourself a list of gems to choose from. You take a look at all of those beautiful gems, and then you look for jewelry that uh, was made with these gems, okay? And then you give that uh, item over as a gift, okay? If it's uh, something that you can afford. But I'm telling you, God, he is a God that has made so many beautiful, creative things. I mean, so to limit him is, is wrong. It's wrong to do that because he wants you to be able to see more. He wants you to experience more. He wants you to be able to shop for things that you've never shopped before. Okay. I am just... I would say I am just um, sold out for God. OK, and so I am going to put God in any kind of message, whether it's dealing with shopping or whether it's dealing with our nation. And when God shows you that 
there are other things out here that go beyond man's, you know, ideas, man's bargain basement discount, right? Uh, grab hold of those things and do your research and find out what you've been missing out on, okay? So I thank you as always for taking time out of your schedule to listen. Please do check your Bible for gems that uh, were around during biblical times, okay? And uh, check websites that have those sorts of things. Also check for oils that were used um, back in biblical times and check for websites that sell those oils, okay? There are so many different uh, sites that sell things based on what was found in the Bible. And we tend to overlook those things because we got Walmarts in our face or Target or, you know, your local grocery store. But you don't think about these things um, and you definitely don't think about them um, as gifts. And there are those who are Christian that would love, that would appreciate receiving something uh, based on the Bible. Okay, so that is it. Blessings to you. Please do check the description box for anything that might be of interest. You've been listening to YouTube NM Enterprise 7. Also, if you haven't given, we do welcome donations.